All right, guys, how are you? AP here. It's Wednesday. It's 20 past one. And I'm about to take off at the university hospital to visit someone. Who's on a third suicide attempt this week? Yep, it's out. This video is mainly having a right fucking dig at the NHS and the mental health people that keep letting us down. I've been around hell a long time. I've been through fucking hell with that girl. And every single time, it's either the mental health, the doctors, the nurses, probation service, social services, or the whole fucking system dumping their fucking workload on my goddamn shoulders because I'm the only one that seems to bloody cope with this bullshit. I am not her carer. I'm not her boyfriend. It is not my responsibility to uh, fix her mental health. It's your responsibility as in the NHS. But then again, when you've got the management running a fucking health service like a goddamn business, I wonder it fails. You're not just failing the system, you're failing the people. It needs to be sorted the fuck out. And I am fed up. We're getting phone call after phone call every time this happens. Jay, what do we do? What do you want me to do? I've got any fun me drunk Sunday night guy and I've just come back from a suicide attempt from the hospital. I'm pissed up with nothing vulgar. So I turned around and said, right, okay, well, we haven't taken any pills left. Sleep it off and I'll talk to you in the morning. Eight o'clock in the morning, I'll get a message from my mate. Oh, God, what do I do? She just sent me this. I was like, well, what do you think you fucking do? You phone up the old bill and you get a kick a fucking door in. That was a second attempt. Today, it's a third attempt. She's just phoned me. I was supposed to be going up hers today to do a mental health interview. But she phoned me, she goes, you might want to come down to the hospital. Oh, God, not again. Why? I'm just trying to commit, doing another overdose. God, I'm on ward one. Why do you want me to come up to the hospital? I need a fag. And since I've got to be up that way to collect my owing meds anyway, I might as well. At least to get to do this interview, you get to hear it from the horse's mouth about how much shit I've been through, how much crap she puts everyone through, and how the system actually deals with it. You're being for a shock. Especially when I've heard it, oh, when she's come after a suicide attempt, this one was a good few years ago, but she came to the hospital once with suicidal fucking what's this. Mental the hell's advice? Go home, have a hot bath, chill out, relax, you'll be fine. And what was the latest one she sent her home? If you're going to commit suicide, can you please go home and do it quietly? I'm not joking. She'll tell you that herself. Right. <clears throat> I'm going to cut this here and catch the bus and I'll see you up the hospital. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. Well, here we are guys. We are at the hospital. And we are about to go and visit Elle. Now, I've got to give her a take call when I get a reception to let her up on my way so she can meet up with me at the old side of the one. So, I'll see you when I meet up with her. <laughs> 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 hey. What's this, the third time this week? My third time this week. Third? Oh, well, within a week, you know what I mean? Uh, about seven. Seven? Fucking hell, are you trying to break your own record or something? This is what happens when so mental health don't give a fuck. I know, that's why we're filming today, because we're going to make sure the little bastards take notice. I've been doing it. 
Yeah, I've been dealing with this for 10 years. Any mills? She's here, of course she's not alright. <laughs> so, how many times this week are we going to come here? Well, we've got to do the finishing bag, have another blood test, see if all these kind of sick mods gone out of my system. If not, then I've got another man and stay in, and then I've got to wait for Campbell. Bloody hell. Thank you, mate. Yeah. Nice to see you. You too. <laughs> Right. Oh, well. oh, here we are, Ward 1. Is he? Oh, well. You can see me later. Right. Here we are, sitting in Ward 1, the brand new Maple Wing. Our guest for today. Yes. You won't believe who was in here this morning as well. Lisa. <laughs> what Lisa was in here this morning? Well, oh, do not tell me the same thing. She sliced her arm up, didn't she? Oh, so her boyfriend went and done exactly the same fucking thing. What? Yeah, so they were in here till got about half past six, seven, about half eight, nine this morning. Fucking hell. Christ almighty. So Lisa's in here. Lisa's a bit in here. I've been in here since yesterday. Since six o'clock last night. Jesus. I got rugby tackled. Twice. You got rugby tackled? Yeah. I had a look at you. Again. Go bunny. Do you want me to hand you one cable tie? Huh? You want to hand you a cable tie, stick around your neck and pull, mate. You're not getting out of that. You're not like, no cry for help, no fucking. This is literally, you know, you do that up, mate. Yeah, they've got a ligature knife. I know, but a ligature knife won't go through my bloody cable ties. Girl, burn it. Why do you do it if you know it don't work? And why do you do it if you know you're going to bottle it every time? Yeah, <laughs> You know what I mean? I've done, I, I, I've done, I've, I've done it, and I've learned. Okay, that don't work. That don't work. That don't work. I just gave up. <laughs> I think the last time I done it, I took an overdose. Like, yeah, that's gonna work. No, it was vodka. I threw the whole goddamn lot. i just learnt from experience. Like, fuck it. I was here to be. I was here for some bloody screwed up reason. I'm not quite sure what, but probably come to realisation when I've been in the grave for three years. Ah, that's why I'm here. Bit late, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so what actual mental health done with you this time? Nothing. I still haven't seen them. I've got to wait till this, this goes through my fucking system and then, then they want another blood test to make sure the paracetamol's out of my system. Then you might bloody keep taking out of you every bloody time. I suppose you've got any left. <laughs> And you still can't touch that the reason why you just float switching? No one can. It's not? Not even mum can. Not the kids? Not the kids. I'm not with David. What? It's nothing to do with that. You're not with that? Whoa, whoa, when did that happen? Last week. Oh, damn. Why? Because happening. Oh, oh, yeah. Not being funny, your family didn't like me very much. Look how much shit they were giving us. No, he's family. Yeah, but all don't right. like me because my brother. Oh, well, that's a bit of a stupid reason. It's not like hanging around a little and fucker. And apparently, I'm still wandering around with knives on me. No, you're just walking around a bit of fucking string, which makes a change. I suppose I ain't got a phone call. My old Bill said, "You want to come and go and bring some shit down to custody like I used to get." Bring me some stuff down. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's probably another bloody reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep fucking your medication about now. It doesn't fit. It doesn't? No. 
Oh yeah, I use walking sticks it's like that. Speed walking by the sound. It's annoying, isn't it? It's a click, click, click. I take mine up and everything shut them up. Do <laughs> 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 so you think you get them to review medication? Maybe a change in that? Oh, I'm going to change it for the umpteen time. Nothing, nothing seems to bloody work. No, when I was on the 300 mils of cotyon pin, uh, the 100 in the morning yeah. and the 200 in the evening, uh, I was stable. Why don't you stick back on that then? Because the doctor in the camp said uh, he's look looking at taking every single mental health patient off their fucking medication. Why? Was he want the extra work or something? No, he wants to stick us all onto fucking depot injections. What? Instead of taking medication, going and getting injected in the arse every fucking week. Oh, this is the NHS trying to cut back on bloody costs. And because I can't have the depot because it hurts my heart rate into fucking overload. Yeah. they got to think of an alternative. They're trying to sort of think of an alternative for me. So why don't they just keep you on that until they do find the fucking alternative, you dickheads? Oh, I haven't had none of my medication. Today. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous. This is going to be a goodbye from me and Ellie here at the hospital. He's now going to go and take the lead to get a blood screen, black ink or blood. Blood screen, black ink or blood. Yeah, so. Anyway, yeah. NHS, bring your health. Sort the fucking shit out. Sort her out, will ya? Right, I'll see you whenever. Yeah. Next mad phone call or stupid picture I get for Messenger. Alright, <laughs> see you later. Uh, right, let's get out of here. Right, I'm back home now, guys. So, yeah, that's the situation with Ellie. I thought it was three attempts in seven days. No, it's been an attempt every day this week for the last seven days. It's getting really back to bad to old ways. Now, NHS, mental health team, you're useless. As I said before, they told her to go home out hot bath, they told her to go kill herself, keep fucking with her medication. When she's been up in court, you expect probation to do their bit to help her out. All they did was palm their workload and put it on my fucking shoulders. The same with social services. Shame with their mental health people. Mental health visitors come round, talk to her, yeah. Oh, Jay can take care of all that and fuck off. And then when you need them, where are they? Nowhere. I wonder why. I kept getting phone calls saying, come and secure the flat. She's tried another suicide attempt. We've had to kick a door in. Or do you want to come to custody? She's been nipped for having an offensive weapon on her. Or she's been taken into mental health gamble centre because she's tried jumping off a bridge. Or she's ligatured herself up for the umpteenth fucking time. Bloody, bloody, blah. And when the old Bill do fucking tackle her, sometimes she goes quietly, most times she won't. She's been tasered, like she said last time, she ligatured and got rubbery tackled twice. And what the hell, mental health aren't doing, this has been going on most of her fucking adult life. And I've been picking up the pieces for 10 years when they should be picking up the pieces. Now, wouldn't you think it'd be cheaper to actually solve the problem than just dismiss it, let it get out of control, costing the taxpayer... Fuck knows how much money every time she does this. I wonder why the NHS is in a mess. Like I say, get rid of your current management. You want someone in there who's going to run it like a National Health Service, not a fucking business, where all you want to do is fuck everyone on the cheapest service possible you can get and make shit loads of profit. That's not how the National Health Service works. It's called care in the community. I know in this day and age, care in the community is now a fucking joke, but... Come on, man. Points trying. 
So, come on, give us your opinions. Have you had bad experiences with the NHS Mental Health Service? Do you think they're champions? Do you think it's a complete and utter waste of time? Do you think Ellie's going to end up back in the Campbell Centre by the end of the day? Probably. Or they're just going to send her home and like, yeah, we'll see you in a couple of days when you try again. And as per usual, instead of everyone else helping her, they're just going to get contact with me like, hello, Mr. Dundee, how are you doing? I'm not a carer anymore. I'm not a boyfriend. I'm not even a partner. I'm not even down as thick as the skin. Why the fuck do you keep contacting me? Do your fucking job. Then the NHS bill won't be so fucking high, will it? Because you'd have solved the problem correctly instead of taking shortcuts, making profit and fucking everyone else off. Oh, we've only got four hours to see you. Oh, we've been over four hours. We haven't cured you. Fuck off home. We know you're dying, but we don't care. Next. It's all about targets and timesheets, not personal care. I'm getting fed up with it, that's why I made this video, you know what I mean? Because this week's just been nuts. So come on, people. Rally up, have a go at the NHS yourselves, not just me. Let's change this for the better. And I'm hoping someone in the NHS actually takes fucking notice of what I'm saying. Don't fucking ignore me. I've had a go at you bastards about this more times than I fucking can't remember. And I still get blanked. And the people that run the Gamble Centre haven't got a fucking clue. I visited her in there. I can tell the way they're walking around. I can tell by the secret footage that people have filmed. Them bastards in there have not got a fucking clue how to handle mental health. Their training's got to be complete and utter fucking shite. Cheap and done at a budget. Not being funny, I haven't got any qualifications. I've probably got more experience in mental health than all of them put together. I could run that place blindfolded and probably get better results. Anyway, that is our rant about NHS mental care being so fucking crap. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share if you want to be a member. Hit the join button. My apologies to the members, by the way, because I know you're going to be seeing this. And you're going to be sitting there going, what happened to Wednesday's live? Well, this kind of cropped up. So I will do another live next few days over this week. I will do it for you. It's just, I was planning to do it today, but it was shit cropping up. I mean, I was supposed to be doing this interview at her flat, not actually in A&E or fucking the hospital, the night after she tried it yet again. Surprised I didn't get a phone call about this one. <laughs> but don't worry, there'll be more. I can guarantee it. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye, Z for now. Oh, fucking shut it. I'm going back to bed. <laughs>